All righty. That's Dua Lipa on the Monterey on Tonight Show tonight, giving an old Gara a heart attack here with these. I don't know what's happening. Dylan thinks he got some of the bad language out, but maybe he didn't. So I'm going to go get ready to go to jail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, this young man sitting next to me, I just met the other day at the Village Corner. I was over having a nice bite to eat with my friend Ali McDaniel. And he walked up and uh, the owner, Faisal, came over and said, you want to sign this, Ali? Because she lives in Carmel. And you have to live in Carmel to sign your petition because right. this guy is running for city council in Carmel, California. I am. Welcome to Thank our show. Thank you very much for having me, and Gary. And it's so nice to have you here and such a nice, great young man. And I said to him, You're super kind. Danny, let me tell you a story, Danny, about what happened to old Gary down in uh, Carmel in front of the Cypress Inn. About April 27, I'm walking out the door after seeing Debbie Davis at the Cypress Inn and BAM! I fell on the sidewalk and hit my head. Because our sidewalks are so terrible and we need to get them fixed very, very See badly. that? Now I got an ally at City Hall soon. Because people are just tripping, they're falling, and we need to fix those sidewalks. Yeah, and, and you know what? It, it was, you know, the trees kind of uproot the pavements. It was a paver that I tripped on. It was dark, it was at night. I didn't have, and I tell everybody, Turn your phone light on, your flashlight on your phone, and look down. Just look down. Wendy Brickman did a whole campaign for me after I fell to make sure that everybody out there that walks the streets of Carmel looks down because those streets are uneven. But this guy here has promised me when he becomes a city councilman in Carmel, he's going to make sure we get the That'll sidewalks fixed. Number fit. one priority. See that? They're even going to name the paver after Gary Morris. I'm going to say, this is where the paver was. We'll put a bench even there for you. But <laughs> This is where Gary Morris fell right here. That was the paver. They're going to put it in a frame and put it on the side. And we're going to put never again underneath. Never, I love that. No See, one else. No one else going to fall in front of the Cypress. Inn. Or anywhere else in or Carmel, we hope. But you really have to be careful. You know, I didn't know Danny. Until that happened to me. Yes. That there's an ordinance that women are not supposed to wear high heel shoes. In yes, it is. You need to go and get a permit from City Hall. Isn't that yes. amazing? Exactly. Come on. How's to that? release the liability because <laughs> the sidewalks are so awful. Release the liability. And that's what everybody's worried about. And you know, the first thing everybody said to me, Gary, are you going to sue him? I said, no, I'm not going to sue him. Were you drinking? No, I wasn't drinking. I was just in there having a Coke. Yes. Come on. So it happens out front of my store that I have on Ocean Avenue all the time. And some of the worst sidewalks are actually outside of senior low income housing in Carmel, whoa. which is really bad. If you check Lincoln and Fifth, it's awful. Now, this guy is an entrepreneur, a true entrepreneur. You know what that means? That means he's got all kinds of businesses before he decided he was going to run for city council. I was just lucky to have been <laughs> born here. Well, yeah, he was born here. Anyway, he... Um, his first business was The Extravagant, a website specializing in luxury content from real estate to super yachts and private planes. Man, yeah, great. Fun stuff. And then 2021, Danny and his brother Adam expanded an online clothing business into a brick and mortar store after taking over the Tommy Bahama location in Carmel Plaza. And then he travels to Italy a lot. So he goes for his clothing business, and he developed a passion for authentic Italian coffee. And guess where Gary's going to be hanging out? He started a coffee, uh, Cafe del Mare. I love that. Thank you. It's coffee by the sea. Coffee, I, and I Perfect gotta, for Carmel I by the sea, my, I hope. I say it with my Italian accent, Cafe del Mare. <laughs> On Dolores, <laughs> across from Piccadilly Park. So your latest... Venture is a passion project for his beautiful wife, Angelina, a luxury women's clothing store named after the love of his life, Angelina. So That's is it right. called Angelina Carmel? Yes, it's called Angelina Carmel after so my beautiful, beautiful wife. you guys have got a lot wife. going on. Are you going to have time to be a city councilman? Absolutely. I have a lot of energy, as you can see. <laughs> well, I've he's a young guy. been yeah. fortunate to be able to do a lot of but things. You know what? Let me tell you something. Uh, and I tell people this. 
I want to hang out with young people like this. You know why? You're very sweet. Because I get the energy from these young people. It gives me energy. And that's what keeps me going. They say, why would you want to be at your age doing a TV show every Sunday night? Come on, I'm having so much fun. And that's the key word. It's true. Gotta have fun. If you love what you're doing, it breathes life into you. Absolutely. And it gives it does you more energy. It does. It honestly does. I feel like the more I do, the more uh, the more energy I have. Well, that's what it's, it's... I'm not sure how it works, but it works. It's contagious. You know, if you're around people who have a lust for life, that's what I call it. I, they are raring to go all the time. I want to be around those people. The passion's contagious. It is. It is. And you are the guy that can do the job. Now, tell me about city council. There's a mayor, Dave Potter. That's he's, right. He's running for re-election. That's right. And how many councilmen? And four uh, councilmen and councilwoman. Ca oh, yeah. councilwoman. Yeah, so total of five. Uh, the mayor's seat is uh, more symbolic, but there's basically five votes. So mm -hmm. we need a three to two majority on, uh, on so anything that we want to pass. So there's five, and now who's seeking re-election? Everyone? Uh, to my knowledge, as of right now, there's no one seeking re-election. Um, so is uh, it going to be a whole new council? It's very possible that it will be for at least two seats. For two seats. So there's uh, two people who aren't up for re-election for another two more years, and uh, that's Jeff Barron and Alessandra Dramov, and then I believe that Bobby Richards and Karen Ferlito, as far as we know right now, aren't running for re-election. Okay, so now there's a lot of stuff going on in Carmel if that's you right. didn't know about it. Now the main thing is, the big deal is, they're going to have street addresses after a hundred and some years. That's a big one. That's a big one, right? It is. A lot of people are upset about losing their packages. I don't know if I'm just uh, nostalgic, but I was born and raised at Monteverde and 7th Avenue, and uh, I would have hated to have an address, you know? <laughs> I, I can't imagine it any other way, but uh, there are people concerned about getting well, packages. Well, yeah, and, you know, there's, I guess, pros and cons to everything. Maybe I'm just nostalgic. Well, you know, and it's okay to be nostalgic. It really is. I mean, come on. Um You've been here all your life, born and raised here. That's right. Never had a street address. Well, guess what? Now it's going to happen. Now, how long is it going to take, though, to implement that? I would say at least a year. A year. But I don't know for sure because they haven't shown the plan or how long it's going to take. And then there's a lot of people who are really concerned, if this happens, that they're going to close the downtown Carmel Post Office. Which is a wonderful meeting point. And one of the lovely things about living in Carmel by the Sea, yes, okay, you don't have a street address, but if you list your P.O. Box number in front of your physical address, like uh, Lincoln to southeast of Fifth Avenue, for example, your packages will be delivered either to your house or to the post office, See depending that? on who sends it. Yeah, so... so so it's there not was as something, terrible what was if you know this, that bit. Do you think, though, uh, that this was caused by Amazon? Do you think that A lot Amazon of people are getting prescription drug deliveries. Mm -hmm. But also, we don't have cell towers in Carmel. Uh, rightly so, I think, because they're not the prettiest thing to look at. Right. But that also affects the GPS location from emergency services to locate people at their house. Um, and then not having the street address. But, you know, if you think about it, if I tell you, okay, I live at 168 Scenic Drive, or if I tell you I live at Scenic, uh, 3 southwest of 2nd Avenue, um, which can you find? Which yeah. do you know where it is? You yeah. can find the cross street. So. Yeah. so it really hasn't been a huge problem, but it's been a problem for some folks, especially the, the medical deliveries. And I don't think too many packages have gotten lost because they couldn't get delivered. I think all of us lo lose packages all the time. doesn't matter where we live. Where, where are you? Exactly. Yeah. So you were born here. Born and raised. Born and raised here. Community Hospital, the Monterey Peninsula. Came home uh, a day later back to Monteverde and 7th. Oh, my goodness. Well, good for you. Now, how many in the family? You have brothers, sisters? Yeah, so I have three younger brothers. I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Exactly. Okay, and, yeah. and are they living in Carmel, They're too? They're all living in Carmel. Okay, yeah. and mom and dad? Mom and dad are living in Carmel also. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. Well, you got the whole family there. All yeah. right, here's, I'm going to put him on the spot. Go for it. Favorite restaurant in Carmel, Danny. Ooh, this Ooh. is a very, very difficult one. There's, it depends what kind of food you want to have, right. okay? Okay. So, so Village just, Corner is one of my absolute favorites because you have a really wide selection. You and have a Faisal just took that place over? Faisal did, and Faisal Nimri is one of the most wonderful people that I have ever met in my life. And He's one a of great the guy. We're going to get him on the show. You will need yeah, to. We're um, going to get him on. The yeah. service at the Village Corner right now is fantastic. But and also, it's been there like 70 years or something. The that's Village true. Village Corner is like a staple in... 
Going, it is. No. Flaherty's is a fantastic restaurant as well, too. Um, Yaffa, um, the Grill on Ocean Avenue, uh, Anton and Michel, um, Mission Bistro. There's so many wonderful restaurants. How can you not restaurants. name them all? <laughs> it, you know, I have great. so many friends that own restaurants, too. I'm sure someone will be upset with me, yeah, but you, there are a lot of good restaurants. Um, Chez Noir also is fantastic. Across from the post office, that's Johnny and Monique Black's place. That's awesome. Okay, so here's here's the deal, okay? When you guys say, okay, we want to come to Carmel, and we want to find a restaurant, call him. Call Danny. Say, I can find anything you want. I'll be Danny, your personal tell, concierge. Tell, there, there you go. Personal concierge. Tell us what you want to eat and we'll send you to the right place. If you want and, island food, I'll find you. You can go to Edwin's. You know, you if go. you want yeah, to have sushi, you I'll find you a place. See that? It, it ain't what you know. It's who you know. <laughs> now you know Danny from this show and Danny's going to be the city councilman. Oh, so thank you, Gary. You're going to be able to Give Danny a call. Oh, Danny, uh, we're coming over from the Fresno area where it's nice and warm, and we're coming to where it's nice and cool. We want to cool off. We want to cool off, and we want one of the, you know. The, now, I'll tell you what. You didn't mention it because it's not downtown Carmel, but, you know, one of my favorites is What's the that? Mission Ranch. The Mission Ranch is awesome. Carmel. I grew up going there as a kid. Uh, sometimes when I go there as a kid, Clint Eastwood was actually playing the piano, oh! which lately I haven't seen as often, but he used to. <laughs> You know, I go over to the Mission Ranch. Yes. I'm going to have to tell you when I'm there. And I sing at 8 o'clock as soon as they open up the piano bar. I do my one song. Okay, I'm coming Saturday there for nights. that for sure. Saturday nights. I'm on air on the, the Mission Ranch. And did, I, did you hear me in the... No, you probably didn't because I don't think you were here yet. But the other day, I ran into Dina Ruiz Eastwood. Yes. And she's... I think, I hope, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that she's going to be a co-host on this show coming up. Oh, that'll you know, be great. I've been, I've been making a joke, Danny, ever since we started this yes. show 90 shows ago. I want to get Clint on. Just even a Zoom call, Clint. Yes. Okay, as a guest. So if you got any juice with, with, with Clint, Clint, I'll make it happen. <laughs> Let me know, because I even if he goes, hello, that's, that's all he needs That's all we do. need. That's you know, all that'll do need. it. I had Clint on if the he show. Just he says, said, hello. make my day. <laughs> that's it. That's all we want. Come on and say, make my day, Clint. That's all I need. Mission Ranch, though, is such a special it's place. A special and place. Clint Eastwood has done an amazing job of preserving that. I'm on the Carmel Heritage Society, on the board of directors there, and um, that oh. is just one of the, the great, great beautiful preservations. There is a Carmel. lot of people who don't realize that the big developers were going to come in there. And put apartments in. And tear it down. Yes. And put apartments. And Clint heard about it. And he called those developers and he says, I want that place. Name your price. That's right. And, and he renovated yep. the whole place. It used restored to be. Restored it. Restored it. It was built in the 20s. It was Made a, it a center for the community. It was a dairy farm. In fact, the sheep are still out there. It's uh, the yeah the sheep are still out there. They're That's still right. There. My son Maximilian he goes to River School just like I did, and he loves the sheep. They yeah, come on over they, to the River School they, yeah. from Mission Ranch. It's amazing. Isn't that uh, great? It would have been terrible to oh, lose that. Absolutely. My, my office Thank you, Clint. is in downtown Carmel at the Dairy Building. So the milk used to come over from Mission Ranch, and used to come to that building and be distributed. Uh, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Just so great. Well, listen, young man, you are going to definitely be the next city councilman in Carmel. Thank you very much I'm for just, your I'm making the announcement Gary. right now, right here on Monterey on tonight. And when you're going to be sworn in, I want to be there. I will make sure that you're there. Okay, I get the invite? Yes. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much, Gary. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Okay, we're going to get back. Let's hope it's clean. Do a leap Sing some songs, please. Clean. <laughs>